Oh my god, seven minutes of recording time. Turn the engine off. I was running the engine to keep warm, it's quite cold this morning. Oh, let there be light. And there was light, and it was good. But I preferred the darkness, to be honest with you. It's cooler. <laughs> oh God, the state of me. Oh, Jesus Christ, in his slippers. <laughs> Just did my morning asanas in a graveyard. Corpse posture was pretty ironic. I only managed to scare one old lady this morning. Oh, there she is. <laughs> Talk of the devil. And she shall appear. Oh, headphones still plugged in. <laughs> yeah, so in terms of... Um, if you've got the guts to live your art form, if you're able to push yourself past your comfort zone and they were a strange few days in the darkness of the Bluebell Hill region. Uh, I'm somewhere different today. I'll move around as I, as I work. But obviously the Bluebell Hill area, the Aylesford Downs, that's home. That's where the heart is. And uh, you see, you always go through these stages of like, it's a bit like meditation where you have to ignore the chatter of your mind. Your mind is saying, my God, am I really doing this? Like, Even though you've seen enough evidence over the years and you pretty much know what you're doing obviously every time is is, is different so uh, having the guts to become the embodiment of one's art and uh, like I said to become one with the darkness and enter that state of, of uh, peace and faith and communion in that landscape and to make a gesture uh, of contact a grand gesture once again, and then I know from last time, simply sit back and wait. But there's always that moment where you think, oh shit, you know. Did I achieve anything? And yeah, he said, he said, no, no, well, have some faith, have some confidence, you know, it'll be okay. But there's always that, like I say, like with meditation, you know, there's always that aspect of the mind. And this is, you know, this is just, uh, if your mind didn't do that, you wouldn't be capable of weighing and balancing up decisions in your life and evaluating yourself so it's, it's very natural so uh, but you just you persevere anyway and uh, like I said the first time uh, when I obviously became a nomad when I went to live um, you know on the road and, and I came home to that region uh, she appeared as a white owl so uh, was it the night before last night? So it was a couple of nights, a couple of days after the, the gesture, if you like. I can't remember exactly, something like that. Um, it was whenever I uploaded the last video, obviously. that That's the early hours of the morning of the night before when I went to sleep. So that night before, I heard the hooting of an owl out in the woods, because I'm on the edge of the woods. And I thought, oh, maybe that's a sign. But... Mm, don't get carried away, do you? You know, so I got into bed. And uh, sleeping on the back is something I've learned is good for inducing uh, experiences anyway. So, uh, sure enough, in the early hours of the morning, I felt a darkness just creeping through the woods, a presence, an intelligence. This word, explicit knowing, is always very important because you just know things without having to have it explained. It's just all that, it just arrives in, in full. So, it's her. She's aware of what I've done. It's an answer. She says, don't worry, I'm still with you because there's always a little bit of like, oh, you know. I can feel you, but like, you know, are you, are you there? You know, are you aware of me? You know, so it's like, don't worry, I'm here. Um, it worked. Um, yes, you know, uh, I mean, my words won't do this justice, but I'm aware of 
what we are about to do together. I'm on board. We have, we are linked. And, you know, the weird is working its its way in uh, all kinds of ways in order to uh, to have brought us here and to you know to carry us through our own efforts and hard work to to a result and um, something else as well which was strange it was like don't look at I can only describe this by saying imagine something that's real and tangible and is there and this could include a letter something abstract like a letter as much as it could apply to a tree or a stone something that is she's so like don't look towards the isness but look towards the gaps between points of definition or reality or isness that gap in between that absence is death and within death that zero that nothingness lies eternity eternal potential sounds very wordy and um profound in that way that doesn't really arrive anywhere but if you sat down really if you really sit down and think about that it's it's saying um within the notion of nothing nothingness death that darkness lies uh the full potential of all eternity so i think that's rather rather lovely i like that and um then we then we